Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Today we will be exploring the app game Disney Story Realms. A special thank you to Kuato Studios for granting us full access to the game's features. Without further ado, here is your storyteller Dylan Scott Gilligan. Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for another episode of Disney Story Realms. Now we will be jumping into Toy Story 4 today. I am so excited. But before we do that, I did want to remind everyone that this is a paid feature of the game. I believe the subscriptions are $4.99 a month or $39.99 for a whole year. Just make sure you're double checking those prices because I am not sure. But I just wanted to remind everyone that this is paid content. So let's jump right on in to the book. Let's go. I am so excited to explore this story realm. Toy Story 4, discover the exciting world of Toy Story 4 as Woody or Bo Peep. Characters Woody, Bo Peep, Buzz Lightyear, Forky, Abby Gabby, Ducky and Bunny, and Duke Kaboom. So that sounds great to me. Activities, Jigsaw Puzzle, Stickers Activity, Dress Up Activity, Hidden Object Activity, Catch Activity, and Match Pair. So, I think we're going to get to see the catch activity better here. Toy Story 4, 96 fully illustrated pages for early readers from ages 6 to 8. But I'm 24 and I definitely want to read the first chapter here. If you do want me to read some more of this book, just make sure that you are commenting down below and letting me know what you all want to see next. It really helps me out to know what you all want to see in the next video. So here we go, chapter 1, RC Rescue Toy Story 4. Alright. One rainy night, eight-year-old Andy Davis burst through his bedroom door with an armload of toys. He dumped them on his bed and went downstairs for dinner. When the boy was gone, Woody the Cowboy sprang into action. A toy had been left outside. The group ran to Andy's window, but didn't see the toy anywhere. Oh no. I hope they find the missing toy. Woody hurried across the hall. Andy's sister, Molly, had a window in her bedroom with a view of the whole front yard. Woody's friend, Bo Peep, helped Woody onto the nightstand. When they looked outside, a sudden flash of lightning revealed Andy's remote-controlled car, RC. He was stuck in the mud by the driveway. Woody and Bo turned to each other. The situation called for immediate action and more help. Okay, so it does sound like we have a plan here. After the toys opened the window, Woody held on to Slinky Dog as he leaped to the ground. Slinky stretched his body as far as he could, but Woody still couldn't reach RC. Bo used her hook to lower Slinky farther. Everyone worked together and at last, Woody pulled RC out of the mud. Yes! Slinky's spring snapped them back to the bedroom window just as a stranger's car pulled into the driveway. Oh wow. Again, love the art in this app. So amazing. Woody had just finished getting everyone through the window when, wham, it was slammed shut, with Woody still outside. He looked through the glass. Andy's mom was putting Bo and her sheep into a box. Molly didn't want them anymore, so the stranger had come to take Bo to live with a new kid. Oh, that's sad. The stranger set the box next to his car and returned to the house. Woody dragged the box under the car. Bo was inside, comforting her sheep. She wanted Woody to come with her, but at that moment, Woody heard Andy looking for him. He knew he couldn't leave his kid. Bo wiped a raindrop from Woody's cheek and settled back into the box. The stranger took Bo away. Woody didn't know if he'd ever see her again. Oh no. So definitely um, sad. Oh no. Years later, Andy grew up and gave his toys to an imaginative little girl named Bonnie. She loved playing with Woody and the rest of Andy's toys. She looked so happy. But Bonnie also had toys of her own. As time went on, Woody found himself being played with less and less. He often shared a dark closet with Bonnie's baby toys. Oh, poor Woody. Then one day, Woody heard Bonnie's parents tell her that she'd be going to kindergarten orientation. Bonnie was nervous and didn't want to go. Woody was worried about Bonnie, so he jumped into her backpack to keep an eye on her. He had to be sure his kid would be okay. 
Oh, that's very sweet of Woody. And that is the end of chapter one there. So again, if you do want me to read more of this book, just let me know in the comments. And now we are going to jump straight into playing in the Toy Story 4 Disney Story Realm. I'm so excited. Love the loading screen as always. And here we are, we are Woody. And it looks like we are in Bonnie's bedroom, I believe. So this is such a cool realm. Hi, Buzz. We have Buzz Lightyear here. And we have our first activity, and it is a match game, which you all know I love. So let's see, Buzz and Forky, Bo Peep, Duke, Boom. I'm not quite sure of the the little toy on the bottom left name. If you do know, let me know in the comments. Forky, Buzz, the, the toy I'm not sure the name of yet, Rex. Bo Peep and finally Duke Kaboom so that was awesome I love playing match games as you all probably know by now so that was a lot of fun so let's in, uh, enjoy this realm some more and uh, you can kick the ball around there I thought that was a really cool touch I love how the room is decorated and now we are moving on to what I believe is the um, school room Bonnie school she's as we read going to kindergarten uh, going into kindergarten and now we are going to play um, a activity here where we basically make our own Forky. I will let you all know I had so much fun with this. Um, I thought it was a really creative idea. Something different that we haven't seen in a lot of the realms. We've seen dress up activities before, but this one just felt really unique and fun. So I was definitely uh, trying to have as much fun as I could, which was not hard with this activity. I got to put a mustache on my Forky and I wanted to go with one pink yarn pink arm and one green arm because those are my two like favorite colors so and I was waving hi <laughs> that's so cute I love this activity and then I wanted to put some pink uh, pigtails on as well so we will see right here that is what I decided to do <laughs> and then of course we have some uh, different ac access accessories here who I'm sorry I could not speak and we have, um, I think that's Bo Peep's hook. We have a cowboy hat there, possibly Woody's hat. And then we did have the feet that we put on our creation there. And that is what I could come up with. I had a lot of fun with that activity. Uh, so let's see what else we can do. It looks like we can climb up on the table. That's another feature that we haven't seen um, recently in a realm. So I thought that was cool. And we're gonna help Forky and pick him back up. Hi Forky. So I really did enjoy that aspect where, especially because we're toys, that we can climb up onto things that are maybe not on the same level as us. And now we do go into the playground here. I wish we could play on that toy right there, that spinning. It looks like so much fun. And I just thought this realm was really fun to look at. You know, we have so many different sets already three and we have a playground and another activity here so this is a sticker activity and i definitely wanted to put all the characters that we had into the scene so that is what we are doing here i wanted to give everybody their time to shine so it did take me quite a while to find all the different characters and which poses i wanted to put in but it was a lot of fun so here we have buzz lightyear and i kind of uh wanted to have him looking like he was jumping off, you know, like flying. And then Forky we have, of course you can't forget Forky. Still need to get Forky in my DMK though. That will happen one day, I promise. And Ham, of course, Jesse and Bullseye. Jesse is my favorite Toy Story character. I don't know if I've ever said that, but I love her so much. And then I'm not quite sure of this toy's name. I know, I'm sorry, but we do have Rex and then we do have um, Bo Peep's sheep. Now Rex and Bo Peep, I was having a hard time with just because they were right on top of each other and I kind of wanted to have Rex behind Bo Peep but have it look kind of natural you know he's a, a bit of a bigger toy than her I believe so that is what we had there and there is Bo Peep so now we have Bo Peep's sheep I forget their names I know in DMK like we had dialogue with that I'm so sorry I forgot but we have Slinky Dog here and I think Trixie is the name of the of the um why can I not think of that dinosaur's name 
Triceratops, <laughs> Woody, and then another toy I forget the name of as well. I am so sorry. I'm forgetting all the names right now. But that was the scene that I could come up with. I thought it was a lot of fun to place all the characters into one scene. So still checking out the playground here. We have a teeter-totter toy and Bo Peep who you can switch to and then play as her. So that is amazing. I was looking at some of the swings here and seeing if you could interact with any of those. Which you can't, but still they look so awesome. And now moving on to the jig saw puzzle activity and I decided to go with this very very cute picture of Woody and Bo Peep. Now I did want to challenge myself a little bit this time so I did pick the 20 piece puzzle. I thought this picture was so adorable so that is why I chose it and again I love that the puzzles here you kind of have an outline so it's not as hard to uh, be able to place the pieces maybe if you struggle with puzzles but still love to do them this makes it a little bit easier to where um, you can get all the pieces in the right place so yes we're gonna put Woody the back of Woody's head there and then one of those pieces I just love like the sunset looking out at the carnival and um, Woody and Bo Peep holding hands that's so cute I love it so almost done there and yes we did complete that puzzle I absolutely love the artwork especially in this in this app you know it's different than what we've seen from the movie obviously the movies the like the 3d animation I guess you would say I'm not quite sure what do they call it anyway the art is like cartoon like 2d so I do appreciate that and here we have ducky and bunny we are at the um, not the arcade. Did I call it the arcade earlier? I'm sorry. The carnival. We are at the carnival now. And there is Ducky and Bunny. They have a cute little animation when you tap on them there, as you can see. And they have some really cute prizes at the top, too. I'm just now noticing that. That you can win at this game here. And now this is a catch activity. So the one in Wreck-It Ralph, I couldn't get to start. But this activity did start. Now, I will say I'm still quite confused on how to properly win this game <laughs> so I was trying to catch things in the mitt here I believe that's a mitt but I didn't know if I was supposed to catch them in the mitt or if I was supposed to get them into the basket so I clearly still don't know what I'm doing but either way this was a lot of fun and you'll see I actually played it a couple times just to try to see if I was doing it right if I could change any of the settings but either way I had a lot of fun I love activities like this where you have to try to catch things and like move your um, basket or whatever it might be to try and catch everything so I wasn't quite sure if there was a difference in like the items you should be catching like should we just be catching the stars as you can see there I caught a couple in a row just in the mitt but sometimes they would bounce off so I was kind of confused but as you can see there I, I don't know at least we're getting some stars <laughs> so I did decide to play one more time and just see if I was starting to understand everything. <laughs> but yeah, definitely a lot of fun. I still need to figure out how exactly to play it, but I had a lot of fun. And there we go again with the third game. I think I played it again. So this shows you how much fun I was having with this. Oh, okay, I did exit after the third time there. So let's see what else we can, um, did I go back? Hmm. <laughs> I guess I did go back. I think I was trying to change the settings. As you can see on the top, there's a one, two, three, four, five bar, and then they have like the sheriff's badge that you can move. I couldn't move that. So if any of you know how to play this correctly, let me know in the comments so that I can try my best in case we have another catch activity in one of the future realms that we do play through. <laughs> Everything was bouncing around this time, huh? <laughs> I love how there's the little, I think they're frog toys like on the side, like the prize you can win. I thought that was a really cute touch. So now we are going to walk into another part of the realm here. And this is, um, I believe this is the, the shop that like, as you can see, Duke Kaboom is in here and then Gabby Gabby. And so we are going to go say hi to them. Wow, Duke Kaboom is so cool. Wow. 
I love that telephone too. And as you can hear, there is a cat somewhere meowing, so I was looking for the cat. But we also are going to do a hidden items activity here. And we can see the cat there. Hi, cat! I'm not quite sure the name of the cat, but uh, I love the hidden items activity. So this one is different than like Wreck-It Ralph, where we had kind of the, the huge picture. This one is animated, which is kind of cool. And also, um, this is us just going through again, where you look for the words and then you have to find like, obviously the pictures of the words. So yes, always love that activity. It's very fun. And now we are going to explore some more here. And see if we do see a cat anywhere. I do see Gabby Gabby. Hi, Gabby Gabby. <laughs> She's so cute. And now we are just walking around, seeing if there's anything else that we can interact with here. Um, there's a lot of really cool pieces in this area of the room. I love seeing how it is decorated. And we did make it back to the bedroom here, which means that we did explore the whole realm. I had a lot of fun. I hope you all did too. Let me know in the comments if you did. So I think we are going to back out to see all the different story realms. Please let me know in the comments if you would like to, which one you would like to see next. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And again, leave me any comments that you want me to read because I love to read them. If you want to, you can subscribe to my channel, Dylan Scott Gilligan by tapping that subscribe button and turning on your notifications by hitting the bell icon. I will see you all next time to jump back into the book. See you then. Bye!